I'm sick of being at the mercy of other people. I feel like I've been an afterthought to a lot of people in this house, and I am over it. We've got a new power player in the Big Brother house, and Leah's not afraid to stir up some chaos if it means getting what she wants. And if people can't stomach that, well, welcome to Big Brother. And we thought this season might be boring without Tucker. Let's get into Wednesday's episode of Big Brother 26 and see how the veto stirs everything up. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. We pick up after Quinn nominated Angela, Chemo, and Rubina for eviction. Angela's his actual target because Quinn and I can see a future where she just kind of gets carried to the end. And Rubina and Chemo were close with Tucker, so they're good pawns. Angela is taking her nomination, as you would imagine. Constantly at a battle with myself in this house all the time. It's exhausting. It's really exhausting. Now I'll give her this, she does go to Quinn to try to apologize for the way she's interacted with him in the game, but he's not taking it as personally as she is, so he assures her they're cool. Angela is still a great person who I like on a personal level, but that doesn't change the fact that I want her gone. Meanwhile, Joseph is getting his first real screen time of the season. That's rarely a good sign, and especially because it's just him being kind of delusional and condescending to Chelsea about how well he's doing in the game. I would love to get to the end and win nothing and win the game. That would be... I think that would be epic. That would be crazy. Like, what's what's his name? Dr. Will? Yeah. yeah Never yeah. won a competition. Yep. And got One of the greatest players of all time. Quinn is also considering him as a possible replacement nominee because of his play to keep Tucker last week, which he totally doesn't see coming at all. I don't see Quinn putting me up, so I feel pretty good about making it to the final nine smooth sailing. I'm a badass. And is he sparking the little showmance with Leah? You're honestly... One of my favorite people I've ever met. I mean it though, you are the best. No, he isn't. Probably in a more platonic way that I would say. Leah is getting pretty close with Angela though. Both of them feel like they've been excluded from things in the game. Honestly, I don't think it'd be as easy for me if you weren't here. I feel the same way about you, genuinely. But despite this burgeoning friendship, Quinn chooses Leah to play for him in the veto, thinking she'll be game to keep nominations the same for him if she wins. Angela, on the other hand, chose Joseph to play for her because she didn't want to put Leah in a tough position if she won. I feel like this paints a very interesting picture of these relationships. With all that in mind, it's time to play bot builders, which is building robots in the dark as fast as you can. And I know Joseph's I'm throwing comp strategy has been working for him so far, but doing it in a veto where everyone's watching you not try hard is a choice. This has been Joseph's game. Sit around all day and do quite literally nothing. And robot bits aside, it's Leah who walks away with the veto win and a tough decision to make. Quinn, who is also like in love with Leah, begs her not to use the veto so he can take out Angela, but Leah admits it would suck for her to assist in the eviction of someone who is solidly on her side. So with Leah torn between two allies, she decides to use the veto and take down Angela. I'm really sorry, Quinn. I have to prioritize what's best for my game, and I want to use it the way that I want to use it. Look at Quinn's face, he's shocked. I cannot believe another person used the veto to save Angela. It's like, I really can't write this. And Quinn puts up Joseph in her place. At least he doesn't seem too upset about it at all. His word is dirt. Oh my God, he better pray. I don't win an HOH. His ass will be on that block so quick it'll make his head spin. This is the season that keeps on giving, but who is actually going to go home during the eviction? Stay with us here, we'll be recapping it all, so like and subscribe on our channel, then head over to popculture.com for the latest in entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call.